Hello world, it's about um, 20 past nine in the morning. It's the 10th of December, 2014. Whenever I look at the planet and I'm looking at the weather systems and you see all the highs and the lows and the jet streams and then I hear phrases like at the moment in the UK, weather bomb or in, or in California, the pineapple express. It makes me realize actually, humanity is in blissful ignorance of how superficial and transient its presence on the surface of this wonderful being that we call home is. Humanity takes so much for granted. Anyway, enough. I'm not lecturing today on that. Uh, I'm looking today at Jupiter conjunct opposite or square the ascendant. Jupiter on the ascendant, the descendant, the midheaven and the IC. Jupiter on the angles. Jupiter's a gas giant. It's bigger than all the rest of the planets in the sky put together. It gives out twice as much heat and light as it takes in from the sun, if not more. It acts as a giant vacuum cleaner. It hoovers up all the rogue asteroids and lumps of rock that might otherwise impact on the inner planets. But it's made of gas. There is no substance. It may have a solid core, we don't know, but very minute. And it gives its hot air. So it always overreaches, overstretches, overindulges, overspends, overweight, but it's also the planet of humor, optimism, personal growth, as well as self-development, wisdom, and the knowledge that comes only with age and experience. Jupiter is after all the king of the gods. You got Jupiter on the ascendant, it's hard not to be the king. You're always going to have your favorite throne. You'll always have presence. People in the family will see you. You will be talked about. You will be known and you will need to get time out on your own. With Jupiter on the ascendant, it's great being the clown and making everybody laugh and cheering everybody up. Great. That's what you're here for. But 5% of the time, go off on your own and cry. When you realize the world is never going to be perfect enough and it is not depression or despair or even despondency, but it is melancholy, it is the tears of the clown. And with Jupiter on the ascendant, people need to get 5% of time on their own to cry. Jupiter on the descendant people, it's not that common a position, surprisingly. But where you do see it, on, on the negative side, it brings an over-dependency on other people to provide the quality of relationship that the individual looks for. They almost live their life through other people's, looking for other people for stimulus and growth and unable to make it happen on their own, at least when younger. However, on the alternative side is that once they've gained enough experience and wisdom, they attract people like them who seek for a much cleaner and purer philosophy in life through the context and, and depth of relationship and um, generally attract good quality relationships. Jupiter on the midheaven, much more common than you might think. Bearing in mind the midheaven deals with public image and status being out there in the world and Jupiter's big. So these are the people who often run their own little empires, whether it's a corner shop or, or a multinational. These are the people who often aspire to high office, but more so, not so much as CEOs or politicians, but more as bishops or cardinals or priests of some type, regardless of gender, actually. Jupiter on the midheaven uh, is people who seek to find a higher philosophy through working in public office, if you like. generally very popular people. Jupiter on the IC is very much the king of the home and the family. Here's where you find the throne. No one sits there apart from Jupiter on the IC. They all want a mansion and a, and, and a palace and, and a weekend cottage in the country as long as a as well as a home in central Manhattan, Hong Kong and London. But it doesn't really matter whether it's a bed sit, a tenement block or a mansion. Jupiter on the midheaven actually needs their own home, a front door or a door that can be closed to give them their sense of their own domain, their own fiefdom, if you like, where they are the king of the gods, even if it's just a bedroom. 
Jupiter on the IC needs that space. If they've got that, everything else is fine. As with all the planets, if Jupiter is retrograde in any of these positions, the influences are going to be felt more internally or as much internally as they are externally. When it's not retrograde, it's almost exclusively external. There you go, Jupiter on the angles. Catch you later. Bye.